guys, it's Vesper here with another video. And <laughs> this time, I'm going to talk about um, the time I went to Gateway Fur Meet 2019. And this was actually my very first furry convention. So it was especially special to me. <laughs> Uh, Gateway Fermi is a small convention in St. Louis, Missouri. Unfortunately, during this time, I was getting over a cold. And, uh... So, I, I was only a little sniffly, but for some reason at the con, it, like, went to my ear and I got a really bad ear infection. So, that part really sucked, because I was just sitting at a panel... And all of a sudden, my ear just kind of stops working. And I'm like, oh my god, what? So, I kind of <laughs> spent the con uh, with a muffled ear. So, that sucks. But other than that, I had an amazing time. I went with my friend Ree and my friend Sharky. And when we got to the hotel room, we met up with our friend Ramsey. We were sharing a room with, we were all sharing a room together. It was really, and as like, I overpacked food, but you can never have too much food. Cause as my first convention, I didn't know what to expect, but I think it turned out okay. <laughs> so, we get there and get settled in really easily. So much easier than when we went to IFC later in the year. <laughs> they even gave us like free cookies checking in and we're like, this place is great. <laughs> yes, I will take a cookie. <laughs> you know, we put our tails on, went downstairs, uh, we arrived on Friday, like evening. So it was late, like by the time we got there. So we just walked right downstairs to the registration place or whatever, where you get your badges. We just walked right in, got our badges and then walked out. Uh, though unfortunately the dealer's den was closed when we got there and pretty much everything was done with. So, but we just, uh, suited up and walked around for a bit. Um, you know, it was, it was great. <laughs> Next day, a little more exciting. We actually went down to the dealer's den, you know, did some shopping. <clears throat> we, uh, walked in the fursuit parade. And I'm sorry if everything's a little disjointed. It was like almost a year ago. I can't remember exactly what days, what happened, and what, and every single event. Unlike my uh, Indie Fur Con, which I recorded like right after the con, so it was fresher in my mind. As for panels, I actually went to a few, <laughs> unlike an Indie Fur Con. Three friends of mine were hosting a uh, fursuit maker panel so i went and just sat there to watch them <laughs> it was interesting <laughs> even though i'm not much of like a fursuit maker i dabble in it but i'm not very good <laughs> i think if i had like actual money to put into buying supplies i could probably eventually get better at making suits but i just don't have the money to do that kind of thing right now because i have some suits i would very much like to make <laughs> so i went to this really neat panel about writing your name and like mayan glyphs i think it was and we got to write our name in the glyphs and we even, they had a laminating machine and we got to make badges out of them. So this is my name, Vesper. <laughs> Though, 
I believe it would be pronounced like wisp, like wesper or westwear, <laughs> something like that. Because I don't think they have these or ours. So you have to make do with what you got. But yeah, that's my name. <laughs> And I even did it in like the colors of my persona. So there's blue and yellow. And then the purple is because that's my favorite color. So it was very cool. And at the dealer's then I bought this cute little armadillo plushie. Because I've never seen an armadillo plush. And I really like armadillos right now. There's one in a book I'm writing. So I'm just like, yeah, armadillos. Ugh, he's so cute. I keep him on my nightstand with uh, my Doido plushie. <laughs> so, you know, and I bought, uh, I got like the con t-shirt and a keychain, you know, some other stuff. I also commissioned someone for a little badge. Uh, it's in the other room, so I'm not going to show it off. And she was, they were like, hey, they were like, hey, are you going to be here? Because I'll take it home, laminate it, and later I'll bring it back and message you when it's done and you can get it. And I was like, yeah, I'll be here. So they did that. And later that night, I, later that evening, really, you know, I was sitting in my room with my roommates and... I get the message. She's like, hey, your badge is done. Uh, do you want to meet me outside the Headless Lounge? And I was like, sure. And so I was going to go down there to get it. And my friends were just making fun of me. They're like, it's like a secret drug deal. And I was like, shh. You know, you go down, you're like, you got the stuff. And then she hands me the badge. But yeah, <laughs> so that was really fun. Um, <clears throat> and it was just like a, it was a fun time, like, <laughs> for some reason me and my roommates ended up just watching a documentary about Mike, Michael Jackson on the TV, and we were supposed to go downstairs to the rave, but we were just watching this documentary, and we're like, it's so interesting, I mean, <laughs> we're just like, I know we should go back downstairs, but this is just... We just got into it, I guess. And like some inside jokes for our room. Uh, Re kept playing the Gandalf saxophone guy uh, video on YouTube that's like 10 hours long. <laughs> and just at the most random time, she would start playing that. And you know, if we, I was like in the bathroom taking a shower and she started playing it and it echoed around the room to where it sounded like it was coming from every direction and I was like, please stop. I just want to take a shower. And it was just funny. That's like our tradition now. Um, another thing I didn't like about the con is... At the same time that they host this furry convention, they also have, like, this, they, um, a lot of, like, Little League children soccer players, like, they have a bunch of s children's soccer teams at the same time, <laughs> and if you mix furries with soccer moms it is not a good combination we kept almost tripping over kids they were kind of weirded out a lot of the adults weren't very happy they're like what is going on we got into the elevator and uh this lady's like hey what's going on and i was like oh it's just it's a uh like a costume convention and she's like oh, okay 
And my friends were like, you shouldn't have said that. And I was like, that's what it is. It's just a costume. It's like a costume party. I don't know, man. They're like, you should have explained it like anthropomorphic animals. And I feel like that. I just feel like that makes everything complicated. Just be like, it's like a costume party, you know? But, and my friend Kylie uh, Ramsey mentioned that when she was on the elevator, some guy was like, what the heck is with everyone wearing these tails and stuff? And she just like walks out, swishing her tail she's wearing. <laughs> So, yeah, not a very good mix. <laughs> uh, people were kind of weirded out. A lot of people were fine, though. My friend Gail uh, told us uh, he was kind of on the con floor. He was somewhere. I don't know where, but he overheard a, like, soccer mom trying to pay, like, a ch child to go steal a fursuit head and we're all like what the heck what do you mean and so gail told security which uh, he almost got into a fight with the soccer parents because they're like we why'd you go like snitch on us Apparently, they just wanted to take the fursuit head so they could get pictures in them. But that's still, like, kind of really sketchy. You can't just take someone's property, especially one that costs so much money. And then, you know, and they were pay trying to pay, like, pay off a child to go steal it. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my god, what? Yeah, so luckily nothing bad happened. Like everything got settled with that, but that is just like wild. <laughs> luckily, I don't think anyone really had problems with the uh, soccer people. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully next year they won't be in the same building because it is just way too. <laughs> It is like not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of stuff did happen, but like I said, it was earlier in the year. My memory's a little shoddy. I went to a like a publishing panel. That was really cool. And I went to like the sketchbook exchange where we just kind of passed around our sketchbooks and doodled. So there's that too. That was fun. Uh on my desk so you know they have the group picture and I bought one and on my desk I keep it <clears throat> I keep it framed on my desk as a little memento you can see my laptop or you can see ah uh, there we go and look there I am in the front <laughs> I'm right there in the front and there's my friend Re, she's the dragon, and all my other friends. Uh, I, don't know. <laughs> I think as far as like first conventions go, this one was amazing. And I just like first furry convention. This one was amazing. And I'm very excited to be going back this year. It's just like an overall great time. I highly recommend going to GFM if you haven't. It's like I said, it's a smaller con. It's not too expensive. Uh, so I highly recommend. It's super fun. Nice people. You know, like, first time I suited up, I went downstairs. And one of the uh, staff members was like, you're super cute. Here's the donation bucket. Go hound people for money. And I was like, okay. Donate? Uh -huh. Money? <laughs> so, yeah, it was just super fun so uh yeah i think that's it for now um so i'll see you guys in the next video bye <music>